welcome back to another reaction video. Uh, my name is Chantel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. This actually was supposed to be a live reaction video, but um, a lot of you guys know that sometimes those live streams get taken down really fast. Um, also, the reason why I wanted to do a live is because this is technically my first comeback um, since I started doing reaction videos, but I also got the timing of it wrong. Um, I thought it was coming out at midnight, which is in 20 minutes, but it actually came out at 10 p.m. my time. And so my reaction is kind of late, but also I was at work for it. So at least I can do it um, myself. Unfortunately, the sisters couldn't join me for this one. I really wanted to do it, but like I said, because of the timing, um, it just doesn't work. Oh, we are reacting to BTS's most recent music video it's a comeback for their album proof um it's the title track is called yet to come the most beautiful moment and that is the music video that i am going to react to and it was posted just about an hour and a half ago and it is currently at 9.7 million views what a time to be alive I do remember with their last music video because it was just a single. Um, I think they always do it at different times and I think they're trying to find a time that's like a little bit um, reasonable for everyone around the world so everybody can watch it, which I think is really smart. I am going to give you guys my reaction and my uh, review. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, let's go. I do have the captions on, so.
Oh my gosh. There's more. There's a lot of odes to their old music videos and each era and I kind of got that hint from the, the concept photos um, or the what was it from the festa photos that were actually released uh, was it also today I think it was today um, okay so first of all I think this video was shot when they were in Vegas because I remember the boys were talking about like it was like a joke that like Jimin let it slip that their um, shoot canceled because of the weather but I definitely think this was when they were in Vegas because um, just by their haircuts because I remember Jimin was very very shy on day I think it might have been day two because of his new haircut and um, also their hair color and the length and um, same with RM that opening scene where um, J Jungkook is going like this and then it's like them in their their outfits from the B music video Oh my gosh and like their white outfits That is so like you already saw by my reaction The first thing I noticed was um, after the ode to um, B I definitely noticed that truck That Ford truck that's from um, It's like from their storyline but you see it in Run and you also see it in Euphoria and then, yeah, Jin looking up definitely reminds me of um, how he looked up in, not B, sorry, I called it B, but I totally meant um, life goes on. And the fact that he's like looking up and he looks a little bit more hopeful, I say in this. And then the spring day, the, what is that called? Carousel. The shoes, spring day. Ooh, sugar looks so good here. Like freight, uh, what is that called? Like those carts on trains. Definitely from Run. Ooh, Arm looks so good. V is so good at like acting, like you could like his expressions. Blood, sweat, and tears. This reminds me of On when they were running up that mountain. You and I best moment is yet to come. Definitely just shows that they have a lot more planned and they want to keep going. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not that like enthusiastic. I definitely think the song also brings the calmness. They all look so good, they sound very good. I actually like really like the way that RM spits bars in this, like his flow. Um, rhythm is very good in this. I noticed that Suga was also like sing rapping um, in this and for his scene it definitely was I need you right I'm pretty sure um, with the piano and because um, he had that that um, scene with JK right I'm pretty sure it was I need you correct me if I'm wrong guys honestly I feel like I would have to watch this music video at least five times to like fully dissect I think that also um, 
it's very comforting like it makes you feel like you like belong and you feel like you're gonna move towards a goal together i'm not gonna lie it didn't like wow me like i wasn't like oh my gosh but i feel like it's because of the vibe of the song um it's definitely a lot more chill a lot more sentimental i think it's very meaningful specifically for bts and the fans because it kind of goes throughout their whole history talks about how um, our journey together. It's very nostalgic because of the relationship we have with the boys. Hang in there. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna go out into the unknown together, but it's gonna be okay because we're together. That's how I feel about this song. It just made me feel like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. I love the visuals of this music video. I mean, it's definitely a lot of it, them just outside with the blue um, sky and the sand is like, you know, like a light beige. Um, and even the lighting, it's natural lighting. So it's very, it's very light, just the visual of it. It kind of gives that heaven type of feel also one of my favorite things is like literally how they talked about how they were 13 years old and had this dream and they were like reminiscing kind of of them when they were like teenagers and you know trying to make it big and they had this ambition i just think that was really cute of them to include um the rappers really did a really good job with the their um verses but yeah i think the i think the rappers kind of went off when when I'm talking about the lyrics. I really wonder if they're gonna give us information about if it was really easy to write the lyrics, if it was like, fl it just flowed out really fast and they kind of knew what they wanted to say. Oh my gosh, the lyrics kind of like remind me of like a diary. And also, when Arm says a new chapter, it kind of reminded me of their AMA speech. I really loved how they were saying the world's expectations, but um, they're just gonna keep doing them. And I really love that and I like how they say multiple times that they just loved making music like that was it it was very daunting to have that um, title of the best um, in the world like it is pretty it is pretty big to to be called like the best in the world their story is literally like one in a million one in a billion even I would say and they just wanted to emphasize the fact that they just love music like that's it like you can give them all the titles they could be at the top so long as they know themselves which is the fact that they just like me making music and they just love music then that's kind of like all they care about the last thing I'll say is mm, I'm really curious to see what the choreography is gonna look like um, I feel like it's gonna have a little bit more of the same feel as like a um, spring day or like a let go the Japanese song yeah I guess we'll have to see because um, there was some announcements that BTS is actually going to be doing comeback stages um, on all of those like broadcasts what are they called like like those music shows so that's really interesting I actually it's actually popping up here just on my um, uh, just on my suggested it, it says that they're gonna be on KBS um, music bank and I'm wondering um, it says live is, is there do you could you guys let me know if their um, performance was going to be live um, like when they go to like record or is it like they're recording and then it comes out like the next day I'm still unsure about how things work um, in Korea right now with COVID and like pre-recording and stuff like that I, I do know that they're starting to let fans come in is that right um please let me know thank you for joining me in this reaction videos I know I'm it's again it's really late so this is not like a super energetic kind of reaction like the video and the song it's just a lot more calm um a lot more like heartwarming I would say so those were my initial thoughts on yet to come the most beautiful moment by bts and it was their music video release on june 10th of 2022 i hope you guys like this change as well of just me literally hanging out in my room um reacting oh that's what fell a while ago my bt21 um unistar um, booklet fell. Can you see it? <laughs>
it's like a little calendar planner thing yeah um so yeah, i hope to have you guys come back for another reaction video um i know it might be kind of long this uh review um kind of you know initial thoughts but i think it's i really liked breaking it down so excited for the choreography i haven't listened to the two new tracks which is called run bts and then the other one is called it's uh called for youth um i'm getting look at you guys i'm getting bombarded with messages from brianna because um uh what is it called but like they're the thing that shows all their demos is out anthology album she's like freaking out about it and she just sent me a link she said Atashan V spring day demo I can't like I can't it's so good and then seesaws lol oh my gosh I can't <laughs> Jin's epiphany demo yeah oh my gosh I'm so excited I'll see if I can gather any more thoughts about how I feel about this music video I'll maybe put it in the description I would love to um talk back and forth with you guys and discuss like how you felt about the music video and what things you agree and what things you disagree with me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because i actually checked my analytics and it says a lot of my viewers or people who watch my videos are not actually subscribers so if you like the videos you see uh, please subscribe again thank you for watching and let me know what you think in the comments okay bye